All right, today's going to be an awesome day. I got a little surprise for you guys. I ordered me a toy oh yeah, back in November. It's now the end of January. Wasn't supposed to be here till March, but I got a phone call. It showed up yesterday. That's right. I ordered me a brand new 2021 Corvette, and I'm going to take you guys along for the ride to pick it up. Stay tuned. Almost an hour drive for us to get over to John Meagle, where basically I bought this truck. I bought my Z01 Camaro from these guys. Now we're heading over there to pick up this Corvette. So just giving you a piece of the ride over there. All right, I spared you the almost hour drive out here. Just pulling in the parking lot. I think the car is still inside getting prepped. So I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. All right, so here I am, made it over to John Meagle Chevrolet. I'm gonna go in and see if I can find my new toy. I don't know why they got this little turd sitting out front. Why you would park this on the curb of a Chevy dealership, even though it is a GT350. I don't know why you would park that out front, man. Come on, guys. Pretty neat little Colorado. Got the Safari vibe going on. Old Camario over here. We're gonna go inside and see CJ and see if we can take a look at this car. Okay. What? I'm gonna give them to you, bro. I want to be in. The oh, you, you want? Oh, oh, this is the best salesman over here, John Meagles. Steve, what's Thank up, you Steve? Very much, good friend, Steve. Congratulations, <laughs> you know, brother. Here you go. Oh, look at that, guys. That is slick. What's the middle button do? That'll start it up. Let's go check it out. Oh, you guys know what's up. Super excited for this. <laughs> Holy snikes. Wow, that color looks awesome. Cold start going on. Oh my God, that car beautiful. Flash those lights again. You guys know that car is sexy, this. Total hotness. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. I'll take you guys around to the driver's side, show it to you. Look at the carbon fiber. Heated and cooled seats. It's nasty. That's right, we ordered the red engine cover, which will go on it, correct? Yep, that, the only things I have left to do this, I've just got to do a uh, delivery inspection, the engine cover, and then the center caps. Oh. You, have, you, have, you <laughs> ordered specific center caps, so they come separate. So they didn't even send the center caps on the car? Nope. <laughs> that is called ceramic matrix, guys. It's not white, it's not gray, it's not silver. It's kind of a... I, I would say more close to a pearlescent white, which gives you a blue or gray hue to it. It almost has a primer look to it. That sounds bad, but it, it looks great in person. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. And what is that spoiler called? Is that their high wing That's spoiler? That's the low wing. That's the low wing spoiler. It's beautiful. God, that car is hotness, man. Oh, that That's thing is so just cool. pure sexiness. I know I'm not supposed to say this on YouTube, but that's like a big old set of double D staring you right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but the only thing to compare to that is a big old set. <laughs> Let's get in this driver's side right here. 
Man, the fit and finish and the way they do those door panels. That is just so oh, gorgeous. That, but that cockpit feel when you sit in it, the way that leans in, you really feel like you're in a cockpit. Is this thing Fat Boy approved? Ooh, yeah, so nice. we're going to squeeze the shoehorn five degrees my hips to get in here. I'm going to do that. Tell them how you doing, bud. <laughs> I just absolutely adore this. I mean, it's like, if you're sitting here, that's like a spaceship surrounding you. So until the car goes through PDI, is what yes. they call it, we will have a red engine cover to match the red valve covers. And of course, that's a pretty cool shot. You see through the back window and then the glass engine cover. There's enough room for at least two six packs in there. <laughs> Maybe <three>. <laughs> <laughs> so let me give you guys the download. We're just over here doing the dreaded paperwork. Got the keys, but. They do have to rig this car. It does not come with transmission fluid in it. I don't know what else is not hooked up. The, the cat hood caps are not on it, the little center caps. So they got to go through and they got to rig this car up. So it's going to take them probably two days to do that. I just want to fill out the paperwork to secure the car to make sure it's in my name. And it's the dreaded paperwork stuff, Steve. The dreaded paperwork, baby. We'll make it fun. Yeah, it always is. Steve's you, always a good guy. And he's smiling. He's happy. He's making this a good time. You guys ever need a vehicle he is the man to see come up to john meagle and ask for steve now let's get back to business sucker oh uh, just waiting the dreaded paperwork wait they actually make you sit and wait while they're doing the paperwork so you get the, the jitters and back out on them <laughs> here Back of your buyer's order. Little bit of merchandise. Just get auto insurance coverage. Yes. State of Georgia for title work. I don't think I signed this when you say we're going to pull my app. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of that. Okay, yeah. See that. Georgia Lemon Law on all new vehicles sold in the state of Georgia. Reporting it sold to General Motors. I'm just going to run photos and believe it or not, that's it. Okay, thank right you. Now, okay. All right. You guys saw that. I only got a few signatures on the video. There were a few more. Craziness, craziness, craziness. But here we go. It's getting real. I want to get in the driver's area and do a good video of that. So he did cool seats. It's a beautiful red. I do not want to take the paper all the way off of them. The carbon fiber is super legit cockpit is probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. All your controls are down the side of the cockpit here. Super sexiness. Big wide screen for your radio. Uh, navigation. Awesome, beautiful interior. All right, I'm going to give you guys a preview. Hard to see in the camera because you're getting a glare. Basically, same exact radio that's in my truck, believe it or not. Really good looking 
dash. Again, there's a glare because there's still plastic on the dash to protect the glass, and there's still plastic on this. All your controls for your up and down temperature, your heated, cooled seats, um, your uh, everything is right here. This is pretty cool. Your up and down for how hard your air blows, your AC, all the controls are here. Traction controls and stuff up here. Push button for your transmission. That is super beautiful and super slick. Total hotness right there. I absolutely adore that and love it. I wish I could take this thing for a buzz around the streets right now. I'm trying to give you guys a good close up of the steering wheel and the cockpit. Cool looking air vents. Heads up display. I don't know if you can pick that up in the camera or not. I think you can see the heads up display right there. Which is a fantastic option. I would not trade that for anything. And I don't know why. You, you got the trunk open, Steve? Yes, sir. Can you shut that trunk for me, please? You can see the mirror on the trunk. It's actually a camera. You don't have a mirror. It is actually a camera at all times. You see how you can't see my hand or the reflection in the mirror at all? Because it is a camera. So you are seeing an HD camera view of what's in the rear view at all times, which is trick. I have that on my truck also. I love it. No doubt. Then put your home link up here, which is fantastic. It's just a beautiful car, guys. Everything about this car, to me, is just as clean and as sexy. I think Chevrolet did a banging job on this car. And what you get for the dollar spent is incredible. Low fuel level and getting a signal already. Um, what you get for the money spent in this car is better than any car that you could buy, in my opinion. Again, it's just my opinion, but, you know, you spend $200,000 to get a supercar that will give you the performance that this will get. And this thing is just incredible. So, I hope my camera is working good. I hope the mic is working good. I hope I got some good film for you guys. Thanks for watching. This sucks, but I have to leave, and this car will not be done. This is Friday. They won't finish it until Tuesday, probably, because he's got one more car in front of me. So, they'll put it all back together on Tuesday, and I'll be able to come back and pick it up on Tuesday and take you guys for the first ride. Thanks for watching. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Put that in there now. Uh. All right, guys. I can't take it home today. Come back Tuesday and pick it up. Thanks for watching. I'm excited to take you along for the ride, and I'm excited to take this bad boy out. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the down low. This is going to be the ending to this video. I actually ordered this Corvette knowing in my mind that I was gonna end up selling it and trying to make a few dollars just because the market is so strong on these Corvettes now. So I got home that afternoon, or actually I got to back to work that afternoon after signing the paperwork. It's about 12 o'clock in the afternoon, about five o'clock my phone rings. I guess there had been a guy running around to 13 different dealerships looking for a car. He came into this dealership, saw my car, fell in love with the color combo and how I had it set up and had to have it. So I got a phone call from the dealership and said, are you interested in selling your car for more money than you paid for it? And so that's exactly what I did. I said, today's the day a fool and his money will soon part. And I actually walked away with $10,000 more than I paid for the car. So, boof, it's gone. I didn't even get to drive the car. I didn't even get to test drive the car. I did get to have the fun of ordering it the way I wanted it. And I guess I'm going to get that fun twice because I'm about to go in and order me a second Corvette and do this all over again. So thanks for watching guys. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. And yes, the car is gone. I did sell it. Boom, boof, out of here.